Uh, dear Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the introduction. I would like to um, thank S uh, Sages for the opportunity to um, present our data uh, about the results of endoscopic uh, vacuum uh, therapy uh, for treatment for, of upper uh, GI leaks. I have no disclosure, uh, no conflicts to disclose. And maybe for introduction, I can show you the uh, first slide uh, for um, sort of geo perforation in the year from 96 uh, to 2008. There was a high amount of uh, surgical revision or surgical approach. 45% uh, uh, were treated interventionally. And uh, the second fact of this um, study was that the mortality rate uh, rises dramatically um, after a visit, uh, treatment delay of 24 hours. Perforation um, were tr treated uh, with um, uh, stents for a long time. Um, besides its um, advantages, there are um, many uh, disadvantages of stents, like uh, stent migration, and um, if the um, perforation is closed with a stent, uh, maybe there's a uh, mediastinal abscess, abscess, which has to be drained uh, with the CT-guided drainage, and um, if um, the defect uh, has healed, uh, then the stent has to be removed, and this can be complicated, and um, there are reports about st uh, strictures after stenting. So let's come to the topic. This is um, the EVAC uh, therapy. It is known, um, the principle is known from um, superficial uh, uh, infected wounds in trauma surgery, and this was adapted to a colorectal surgery uh, in the beginning of 2000, and uh, in 2007 we started that uh, to use this in the upper GI. This kit um, has a sponge with a tube, and uh, for introduction we have this over tube, and the uh, sponge can be pushed into the um, uh, esophagus, in the proximal esophagus, uh, with this over tube. I can show you this in the next slide. This is a sponge, a little bit um, bigger, and it can be um, cut to a small size as well. So how um, does the procedure work? Um, first, the patient is um, in sedation, maybe with propofol, and then uh, the endoscope is um, introduced, the cavity is uh, inspected, and over the endoscope, the overtube is um, placed. The um, sponge is adjusted to the um, uh, size of the um, defect. And uh, with the overtube, the uh, sponge can be placed over the upper esophageal sphincter to the proximal um, esophagus. And then um, the overtube is um, removed and uh, the sponge can be placed. The tube is uh, placed uh, transnasally, and um, after that, um, a connection to um, the vacuum uh, pump, electronic vacuum pump, is started. A continuous vacuum uh, with 125 millimeter quicksilver uh, is advised. The patient is, uh, is awake um, after that, and the um, patient is on the normal ward and uh, has a good tolerance of this tube, like a um, gastric tube. So in uh, 2014, we have published our first series of uh, 14 patients. And um, with that, uh, we have two possibilities to place uh, the um, vacuum therapy intraluminally and in the cavi intracavity. And uh, here's the first video for placement of um, EVAC in the lumen of the esophagus. Here you can see the overtube. Um, the sponge is now placed. Uh, intraluminally and is um, placed at the leak. And then um, the vacuum is applied. Next video start is the intracavitary uh, placement of EVAC therapy. Here you can see a very big leak. Um, the patient with Berhaza syndrome. And um, now the sponge is placed uh, with a endoscope uh, um, forceps. And um, after three to five days of uh, vacuum therapy, um, the system is um, removed. 
so come to our, our results. From October 2010 until um, Janu January this year, we treated uh, 77 uh, patients. Um, spontaneous perforation, six patients with Verhaave syndrome, um, 12 patients with uh, iatrogenic perforations, uh, postoperative leakage, um, the biggest amount in this, group, in this uh, study, 59 patients. Uh, after Ivor Lewis um, procedure, 36 patients, and I've looked um, up our uh, database in that time from 2010 to this year, uh, we have done uh, 1,070 patients uh, with Ivor Lewis procedure, gastrectomy 15 patients, and postoperative defects 8 patients. So um, I have uh, the data here for mean duration um, of EVEX therapy, so in the mean we have 13.8 um, uh, days of duration, the mean duration of EVEX sponge of uh, 3.9 systems and um, uh, days, and the mean number of uh, 3.5 um, systems. Okay, um, 60 of the, these uh, 77 patients were, had a complete closure, and in three patients we had to perform a conversion to surgical approach, um, the defect was uh, closed by suturing and um, fund application. Ten patients died in this series. Um, one patient with the um, pulmonal embolism, um, severe hemorrhage in two patients. Two patients had a, um, um, acute respiratory distress system and multi-organ failure in five patients. So um, the combination of endovac was um, and the work was uh, combined with stent therapy in 21 patients, um, a combination with uh, feeding tube in 34 patients, which is important about uh, in our um, patients with oncological disease. Um, these um, patients had a, a rate of 70% uh, with pretreatment, um, radiochemotherapy or chemotherapy. And um, we have the option of uh, evacuation uh, of the gastric exudate um, with um, dilated gastric emptying. So we use this trilumina um, tube uh, for evacuating uh, the um, gastric exudate. So in uh, January this year, um, a review um, was published, and uh, our CEO was in there, all over 210 patients and um, the duration of therapy is little, was a little bit longer uh, than uh, 17 days uh, compared to our data. So I can conclude um, that um, EVEC uh, therapy um, has a, um, can be uh, performed successfully in a wide field of uh, perforations and leaks in the upper gastrointestinal tract. Increased spectrum of interventional endoscopy in a complex circumstances with a low rate of surgical interventions in combination of different endoscopic techniques uh, is, is possible, so with, with stent therapy and feeding tube. Thank you. Paper is open for questions. Thank you, very good. Uh, congratulations on that data. Um, do you experience uh, using less thoracoscopy? Usually these patients are have pleural effusions and MPM as after the leak. Did your system reduce the number of uh, therapy needed on thoracoscopic side? Do you use chest tubes or you just do the vacuum system? Um, it depends on the um, uh, infection's um, status. If uh, the patient has a septic focus, uh, this is drained um, with a CT um, uh, guided um, drainage. Um, we had uh, two patients with this hemorrhage, and in this um, uh, review, which was published under, uh, in the beginning of this year, um, there were two or three cases uh, with hemorrhage as well. And so we uh, do um, recommend to perform um, CT scan after placement um, of the first endovac system to be sure that, that uh, the system is not uh, affecting aorta or something like that, other um, vessels. Hey, it was a great talk. Steve Lee's Dallas, Texas. Um, everything you guys have done over there has sparked it in our institution. We're up to 54 patients really using this technology 
um, to benefit and get patients out of trouble. My question um, that I usually get is where do we, are we just abandoning stents? And really in our facility for the esophagus, I've pretty much stayed away from stents now that we use the VAC therapy. I'm just curious what your algorithm is and um, where you're using stent therapy or the other therapies like double J stents or anything for these leaks. Uh, so what, the, what, what was your question? Just kind of what's your algorithm for where you use the endovac as opposed to before you started using it? Uh, we, have, we have left um, endoscopic stenting as well and so many centers in Germany do. So actually I'll follow up on that. Can you speak to what your selection criteria will be for selecting endovac therapy over any other modality? Uh, and specifically I'm asking because you had a significant mortality in this series, and, and that's not to be, uh, not surprising, esophageal perforation is a very morbid event uh, with a very high mortality overall, but can you speak to what your selection criteria are for choosing endovac therapy? Do you do it routinely for all esophageal perforations now? We try to uh, perform um, EVEX uh, therapy in um, all patients. If uh, septic situation uh, becomes uh, more and more severe, uh, then a surgical approach uh, is, is done.